Today I am between valleys and flamingo in what I consider a pretty fun place to stay and play myself. That is a Cromwell. Got in pretty late, so this is an early morning video. The room is a little bit lived in, but I think it looks presentable. So right inside you do have a dimmable lighting. Let's take a look here. All in all, it's a pretty dark room. Here is some of the artwork. And this is a luxury two queen with strip view. The room, I guess you can consider it about average size for what you'd expect, but in my personal taste, I'd say it's a little bit small for my liking. Here between the two beds. This does pull out here. And pretty nice light fixture here. And you even have a white noise machine. So if you like that, I do have that. It's a very large television. Keurig coffee maker is here, but if you want the coffee here, you're gonna have to pay, as nothing here is free. I do believe if you bring your own K-cups, however, you can use that coffee maker. Here is Martha Stewart on the cover of this magazine. I know the Bedford is opening, or has opened, I should say, and it's a pretty popular place to eat. So down here you have the safe. And in here you do have the bar and everything there is gonna cost you a pretty penny. And that's why I always come prepared. So over here you do have seating for two. More art. And I usually don't fit, uh, feature it on my videos, but the floor, the hardwood floors are really nice in here. And over here is the armoire. And beside the two, the second bed, you do have a table. Let's take a look in here. So you have some hangers, obviously. And down here you have storage space. And to perhaps apply your makeup in the morning, you do have this area over here, and let's take a look at the lighting. So into the bathroom, we do have a sliding door, which is probably the most heavy sliding door I've ever encountered. Here is the sink. And I really love this artwork. So you do have a window too, and you can breathe in the fresh Las Vegas air. And not to mention the noise, it's pretty noisy here when you get close to the window. C'est la vie, pretty good song. Take a look in the shower here. Summer head is detachable. One thing that you may or may not like about the Crown Mall is that it is 21 and up. So keep that in mind if you do have kids. And what this room ran, this is a Monday to Wednesday. 13250, and I can see that I need a fine point Sharpie. Was the base rate twenty two ninety nine tax forty five ninety five resort fee two hundred one forty four grand total, and I did get that comped. So as for what to do at the Cromwell, I think it's pretty well known for Dre's nightclub. So if you're into hip hop, that might be your thing. Other than that, for dining, uh, upscale they have Giada, and as the meme goes, I've been watching Giada over a year, and I still don't know how to boil water. I think that's pretty correct. And if you want to eat at a more affordable price, they do have Eat Well here, or I recommend going next door to either Bally's or Flamingo for their food courts. There's more of an offering. And being in the morning, I just woke up. I did forget to show the view. There is the shops at Bally's. You do have a glimpse of Paris. There's Bally's Cosmopolitan. 
and the fountains at Bellagio are not going off, but I will get video later. So thank you for watching. In reviewing the video I took earlier, I noticed I didn't pan the camera high enough to showcase the rain shower head. So let's get a look at that fountain view of Bellagio. It's more of a partial view. And I just wanted to mention too that the Cromwell is kind of a more intimate setting when you factor in both the casino as it's smaller and the hotel, which according to the Cromwell's own website has 188 rooms. So it's a very small property, but it is right in the middle of the action on the Las Vegas trip.